it's Jen and I'm here to bring you another process video for Ellie's studio. Um, I've chosen this photo of my daughter and her new kitten, Crookshanks, and I am going to create an eight and a half by 11 layout. You can see that I pulled some papers from the Sunny Days collection that I think I might include, specifically this kind of animal print here. And then I'm also using the February kit to uh, add some embellishment to this layout. So I've pulled some different cards that I might want to use um, and as well as some of the extras that coordinate with the kit that that aren't part of the kit including stickers and these labels, a bunch of die cuts that are from the kit, and then this word love that is an acrylic piece. It also comes with an arrow but I'm not going to use the arrow so um, I'm also thinking about using these little acrylic hearts. So those are the things that I'm going to probably be using. I also pulled um, the stamp set that came out this month as well as this little, I think it's Olivia uh, alphabet stamp set. So I'm going to use all of those including some other puffy stickers that I thought were cute that I might include on this layout. And so I will uh, get you on fast forward and talk you through my process. So I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, cutting down some of these papers, trying to see how I want to layer this up. Now my photo paper had a little scratch on it and so it looked like a scratch on my daughter's arm. And so what I decided to do was kind of just, I'm going to put the photo underneath those layers just a little bit. So now I'm playing around with the different acrylic pieces and I know I want to line those three heart acrylics up and I want to try to incorporate that love uh, card that came in the February kit. So I'm thinking about that. While I'm thinking about it, I decide to cut down this three by four card that says, uh, I've got the joy, joy, joy in my heart. And I decide to make it into a tag. So I just use my crocodile to punch a little hole in the top of it. And so now it looks kind of like a long tag. And I'm going to go ahead and cut down these strips to eight and a half by 11 because I know I want to use them at the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and start adhering them. Both of these papers are from the Sunny Days collection and that's a summer collection, but you can see that the patterns are pretty versatile. You can use them for a lot of things. And I just layered my photo underneath it. That photo is five by seven. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So I'm gonna put the word love above the little hearts and I'm gonna uh, plan to place my journaling next to the hearts. So now I'm gonna look at all of the different die cuts that I pulled out to see what's gonna work with the different things that I've pulled together so far. And I think I'm mostly going to stick to just the black and white and then the pink and yellow. So I decide to cut up that love card and I'm going to, I cut the pieces a little bit different sizes from each other and I'm overlapping them to create a border at the top. And I love doing that with these little cards. If you just want a pop of pattern, it's a really nice look. So here I'm going to stamp out the word Crookshanks on some white cardstock. And that is the name of the kitten that we got. And I'm using the Olivia alphabet. It's the perfect size for something like this. And so I'm just using some black Ellie Edwards ink to do that with. And then I'm going to cut it down and I left a little bit of extra room on the right hand side because I want to make it into a little banner shape. So I just cut that with my scissors and I'm going to adhere that on top of the yellow patterned paper there. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put this little string in the tag and then I'm also going to use that string here in a minute to do some stitching and that's just some crochet twine so I just cut off a length of it and then I went to find a, a needle and I will go ahead and uh, use that here in a second. Decided to quickly glue the love papers up at the top and I wanted to add a little bit of color to them so I'm using my inexpensive watercolors and a water brush I colored in the word love to match that pink heart and then I'm going to use some yellow uh, and I thought I would try the packaging technique and I didn't have any packaging handy I was being a little bit lazy and so I was trying to use a stamp case but I couldn't see through it so I just decided to take my brush and just kind of go over it a little bit and I think it turns out cute. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this these embellishments down that I'm going to, I'm kind of creating an L shape around the bottom of my photo. Decided to put the We Belong together up on some foam. So that's just some fun foam that you can get at Walmart or Michael's or any uh, craft store. And then uh, just put that on the back. And now I'm cutting a length of twine to go ahead and do some stitching with. Before I stitch these down, I am going to glue them. So I'm using some, my favorite glue for these acrylic pieces 
is some thermal web mixed media adhesive. It holds really, really well and uh, it dries clear and I really like it. So that's the adhesive that I use. It's a little bit stronger than the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive is really great for paper, but I prefer this uh, mixed media glue for anything heavier. So I'm going to glue down my word love and then there's a little die cut from the February kit that says true. And so I'm gonna put that above the word love. And I also popped that up on some foam. And I'll just get that glued down with some double-sided tape. And then I'm going to color it. And I just put a little bit of that pink color on top of it. Just wanted to make it a little bit watercolory. So I'm using this little mat. It's a mat from Close to My Heart. On one side, it's kind of soft. It's a good mat for stamping because it has the cushion, but I use it to poke holes uh, sometimes too. And that's what I'm doing now. Just poking two holes or so that I can stitch twice on each of the hearts and on each of the letters. And so what I did was just pull the thread through to the back and I glued it down, or I didn't glue it down. I adhered it down with just some washi tape. And then I'm just going to stitch around each of these little hearts. And sorry that you can't see that really, um, but all I'm doing is is stitching through the holes that I that I poked. And here you can see, well, you'll see here in just a second. I'm going to trim this up. Uh, my my true love. I can't believe I didn't, or my love paper. I didn't trim it before because that bothers me now that I'm looking at it that I waited so long to trim it, but that's okay. Um, but here you can see those stitch lines and I think they look really cool. They almost look like whiskers, which is fun. And I'm just hand drawing some journaling lines with my black Muji pen and writing about our new kitten, about how it was kind of on a whim. Malia had been asking for another kitten. We have another cat named Ariel, but she had been wanting another cat for a long time. And so we decided to go ahead and take the plunge and buy this this kitten it's a really pretty tabby he has some really awesome markings on him i'll have to get a better photo but this was kind of like their first photo together she came home from school and i had the kitten there waiting for her and she was super excited it's kind of an early birthday present i don't mention that on the layout it wasn't her birthday but um it will definitely be in other layouts so i'm not worried about that i'm adding a few of these black puffy stickers to just play on the hearts and uh, those puffy stickers are awesome. Last time I looked, they were out of stock, but I'm pretty sure that Ellie will get more in because they are a favorite for sure. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I just looked up the date of the photo on my phone, and I'm going to stamp the date with just some black ink down at the bottom, and that is going to complete this layout. Okay, so here's a look at the finished layout. You can see that I didn't use everything I pulled out. I don't usually, <laughs> but, um, I really like the way that it turned out and I like the little touches of the staples and the string. I think the string, the way that I did it, kind of reminds me of whiskers and so I think that turned out pretty cool. Um, and this was just a really simple one to throw together and it's really fun to use just a few of the cards and let them um, like act as a border, especially this love one with the repeating pattern. I really like the way that turned out with the watercolor. So I hope that you'll give something like this a try and check out these products in the shop over at Ellie Studio. I'll leave links in the video description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.